I know Jose and Alexis have been to Renaissance fairs for what you're doing at the Ren Fair a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they meet a lot of unique individuals who participate in those. So yeah. have you. In fact, one couple went there recently, and they've been going for the last five years now. Aww. It is tradition for a lot of people. Yeah. And the lady reached out to us saying we should prank her husband oh. because under his kilt, he refused to wear underwear to the event. Oh, oh really authentic. Well, I'm not supposed to, to, right? I don't know. Well, I technically, think. but most people do. I always cause... just assume every man with a kill is oh, just... Oh, Brooks, there's children around. It's <laughs> a friend <laughs> fair. It's well, airy. Okay. <laughs> However you feel about it, I'm not going to doth protest her idea. Oh, okay. In fact, it sounds like a very fine idea for your phone oh. tap right now. Hello? What ho? Is this Sir Michael Stephen? <laughs> uh, yeah, who's this? My name is Chadwick from the Ren Fair board. Uh, from the Renaissance Fair? Ah, yes, the land of gallant knights, fair maidens, and rivers of grog. Did you partake, good sir? Yes, I was there. Um, hmm. That's the question you're asking. Uh, what is this? What is this all about? Alas, I must decree this shall be your final visit to our glorious and noble gathering. What, what do you mean? You are hereby and forevermore banished from these walls, and if you attempt to re-entry, our fine sentries will approach and giveth you the royal business. <laughs> can you talk in normal English to this way I, to this way I can understand you? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, we had a bunch of accusations that you uh, weren't wearing anything under your kilt. <laughs> what? Yeah, and people saw it. I don't know why anyone would, would accuse me of that. Uh, I mean, like, were you wearing underwear? I mean, no, I wasn't, but mm. did the noblemen of Dungry Castle in Galway County wear them? Well, I think not. No, but that was the 16th century. And now we've had scientific advances called underwear. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't ban me for a rule that doesn't even exist. I mean, I, you guys don't have that laid out anywhere. It's not like I I'd... saw that rule anywhere. To be fair, I don't think we should have to tell every patron, hey, do you got your underwear on? Okay, you can come in. Fine. I just kind of know that. This is literally the first time I'm hearing of this, but mm. I'll just wear them next year. It's like, you don't need to right. ban well, me. Well, I'm afraid the... that the vendors at the Artisan Marketplace won't allow that. Oh. I, what, what is it to them? You know, the turkey leg guy, Joe, <laughs> said that you made some comment comparing it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? That he said that I compared it to his turkey leg? I, like, what? I don't know. Maybe in your case it was just like a turkey wing. And oh, come on. That's the case. You should probably go see a doctor. Get that checked up. Well, actually, that never happened. I don't know where he's mm. getting this information from and why he's accusing me of that. That absolutely never happened. Look, Sir Michael, I, or Mike, Mikey, whatever. I want to believe you. But then Felix, you know, the guy who works in the magic potion booth, he filed a complaint. What, what did he say? He said some, that you mentioned something about your magic wand, and then you shouted, Alchemist's eye, and then you flashed him. What? Yeah. Uh, no way. That did not happen. You're denying it. Yes, absolutely. I, like, 100%. That did not happen. I don't understand who is making up this, this nonsense and, and spreading these lies. That did not happen. Are you sure it didn't happen? Because others have come forward. Like, you know, Marion, Maid Marion at Ye old Caricature Shop? What, what is she going to say, that I flashed her too? No, no, she didn't say that you flashed her, but I did have Joe the turkey leg guy describe what he saw, and Marion used her face paints to make a rendition. Wait a f second, you had made Marion do a police sketch of my d well, I, I, We didn't make her do it, she did that of her own free will. This is absolutely f insane. I want to be on your side here, so maybe if you just send me a junk pic of your turkey leg right now. You are out of your f mind that is not gonna happen okay well then i'll just have to run it past your wife rachel to get to the bottom of this by all means please do because mm. i would never ever embarrass my wife by doing something stupid like what you're saying this is absolutely ridiculous well that's interesting because she would embarrass you by putting this conversation on the radio and making you the target she... of a prank phone call are you serious yeah she would do that is this a prank call did rachel set this up she did 
For I am Sir Jeff of the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and this doth beeth a phone tap. Wow. Wow. Yes, good sir, you have been tappeth. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that you just admitted to not wearing underwear under your kill. <laughs> I, I'm sure it wasn't the only one. That doesn't make it okay. <laughs> I mean, Maid Marian clearly, uh, <laughs> she had something to say about it, didn't she? Um, do you want to compare turkey legs, bro? <laughs> no, I'm good, man. <laughs> You're lost. <laughs>